All right. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I made this scrapbook page here. So I'm going to start by showing how I got the image to look like that. So this is the image I started out with. And I first went ahead and cropped it, getting rid of that extra space in the background. And then I will make a copy of this, which is just Control J. And then I turn off the background layer. And what I did was I just erased the background, right? So I've got my eraser here, got a big brush, and then I just went around behind their heads and erase the background. I'm not going to do that for you now because it takes a long time, but when you end up it looks like this. All right. So here I have copied it into a new file with the background erased and we'll select this and we'll make a copy of it because I'm going to go ahead and put a filter on it. To get that black and white drawing look, the filter that I used is down here in Sketch, and it is Photocopy. Wait for that to come up. Give it a little zoom out. Oh, it's in orange. We don't want that. So we change that over here. We want this to be black. Okay, go back, sketch, photocopy. Okay, so there you see, it's got that kind of sketched look. And I messed around with these over here, that makes it lighter, we don't want that. I want it to be a little darker, I think. All right, there we go. Give the detail, make the detail higher. Maybe all the way up. All right, good. Go ahead and take that one all the way up too. You can see down here it's thinking about it. All right. I'm happy with that. So I hit OK. And there you go. There it is. So that's how I did that. And then I will just, you can do a Control A to select all and then Control C. I will copy it. And I'll take it over here to my scrapbook page. So you can download this here at Pixel Memories, this PSD, if you want to look at it for yourself. So here is the photo, and then I've added this clipping mask down here to give it to kind of fade it out over here. And if you go, I did that. If you go to your brush, I like to use a grunge brush here, like this one, and oops, there I made one. So on this layer underneath the photo, you know, you can just give it this and then you can see that more of the picture is showing up. So that is how I make the clipping mask behind there is just with a brush. Then let's add some color. So we turn on this layer, which is just tan, and I've got it set up here to multiply, which will make the picture here tan as well, because this picture is actually white. And then the multiply makes it tan as well. So then I have a couple textures that I downloaded on the internet that we'll add in there. These are set to overlay. Okay, let's see where, back here, behind the, f the picture, I have my words, the word overlay. 
also back here are the paintbrush spots. Go ahead and turn them on, which I also made using my brush, E for brush over here. And then here are my grunge brushes I was using. And then over here I've got some splatters. So you know, I just pick one, choose your color, blue, go ahead and make a new layer. You know, and then you can add a spot, just like that. So then up on top, I added a few words. Turn those on so you can see them. My heart with the, here's the paper that I, this grid paper, and then this is just, just a heart shape. And then this is a clipping mask on top. My staple. And then just this big heart over here. So it's pretty simple, but it ends up looking pretty nice.